Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on clock divided by 4.5. This is the source clock from which we are going to generate the clock out whose frequency is divided by 4.5 that of the source clock. Since frequency is divided by 4.5, clock out time period is multiplied by 4.5 to source clock time period. Here in the waveform, you can observe that clock out is high for 2 clock periods and low for 2.5 clock period. From this, we can calculate the duty cycle as 44.44% and we cannot generate 50% of duty cycle for such clock dividers. To design this clock divider, we need a 9-bit shift register and initialize its default value or reset value to 1. On every pause edge, we will be shifting left by 1 bit, that is multiplying it by 2. Upon reaching the MSB bit, we will be rotating back to LSB. Let's name this 9-bit register as count. At every pause edge, we are shifting left by 1 bit. Here the count value is 1, so 1 will move from 0 to 1, 1 to 2 and so on till 8th bit and then back to 0th bit. I will let you know where we will be using this. Before that, let's code the ring counter. So this is the always block for the ring counter. Upon reset, the count value will be 1. Otherwise, the count value will be shifted left by 1 bit and rotated back. So let's go back to waveforms. So as you can see, clock out is high for 2 clock periods and low for 2.5 clock period. Now let's use the ring counter to get the desired clock. Here we are performing our operation between 0th and 1st bit to make the clock out high for 2 clock cycles. After 2.5 clock cycles, we need to make clock out high again. To do this, we will use the 4th and 5th bit of count. Here we are delaying it by half clock cycle by using the neg edge flip flop. After delaying by half clock cycle, we are performing our operation and making clock out high again. And clock out is low for another 2.5 clock cycles. After that, it is becoming high because of count 0 and count 1 and this cycle continues. With this, we will be able to generate clock divided by 4.5, but the design is not yet complete. So before going any further, let's look at the code. So in this always block, we are going to phase shift the fourth and fifth bit. As you can see, we are using negage of clock instead posage of clock for getting that half cycle clock delay. After shifting them by half clock cycle, we are storing them in this registers. We will be using this phase shift count registers in clock out generation. Now let's look at the complete code. So the first always block is for generation of ring counter. And the second always block is for delaying it by half clock cycle using negage clock. Now let's see how clock out is generated. The clock out depends upon 0th bit and 1st bit of count and the phase shift count registers. Clock out will be high if any one of the following is high. The design is done for clock divided by 4.5 but this design is not glitch free. There is a high chance a glitch can occur between 0th and 1st bit of count or between the phase shift count registers. We need to do this to make sure our design is glitch free. 0th bit and 1st bit of count both can go to 0 at same time for a small instance. And this instance will cause a glitch in our design. 
So to avoid the glitch, we can perform an OR operation with other signal which won't go to zero at this time period. So here we are delaying the 0th bit of count by half clock cycle and performing an OR operation with count 0 and count 1 so that our design is glitch free. And for phase shift count registers, we already have a signal between that time frame where the glitch occurs. As you can observe, count phi is going high in that time frame. Now we will use count phi and perform our operation with phase shift count registers. So now let's add them in our design. So adding a register to store the value of the delayed count 0th bit that is phase shift count 1. So adding the phase shift count 1 in this always block. And now the clock out will also depend upon phase shift count 1 and count 5. So this is the circuit design of clock divided by 4.5 with ring counter having the flops and phase shifters for the required bits. So we have designed clock divided by 4.5. Here is the circuit diagram and we have discussed the code also. So if this video was helpful for you, please do subscribe and turn your notifications on and hit that like button. Thanks for watching and appreciate your time. Be brave. Jai Hind.